Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to make a brochure in Microsoft Word, and you'll get a valuable bonus tip at the end of the video. The simplest way to create a brochure in Microsoft Word is to modify one of the templates. To do that, open Word, then click More Templates on the right. Here, head to the search bar. Then type brochure and hit enter. You can now browse through a selection of templates. Select a template, then hit create to start customizing the brochure. This is a trifold brochure, which means it's designed to be folded into three sections. You'll notice some placeholder text that you can select and remove, allowing you to replace it with whatever information you need. And if you scroll down, you can see the reverse side of the brochure, with more placeholder text that you can select and replace. If you want to change the background images, double-click near the edge of the template, then click again to select the image. With the image selected, right-click, then go to Change Picture, and choose a location to insert from. Now locate and select the image you'd like to add. Then hit Insert. You can resize the image by clicking and dragging the corners. To change the other images, just follow the same process of right-clicking and inserting a new image from your preferred source. Again, drag the corners to resize, or click and drag the image itself to move it into position. However, if you right-click an image, and can't see the option to change it, then a simple alternative is to use a watermark. Start by selecting the image and hitting delete or backspace on your keyboard. Once it's removed, head up to the design tab at the top. Then head across to watermark. Now go down and select custom watermark. In the dialog box, click on picture watermark. Then hit the select picture button. Next, choose where you want to insert a picture from. Then locate, select, and insert the picture. Before you add the picture, uncheck the box next to wash out. Then head down and click OK. Like before, click and drag the image to move it into position, and drag the corners to resize it. Once you're happy with the image position, move your mouse near the edge of the screen and double-click. Or go to the header and footer tab, and then hit close header and footer. You can now begin adding your preferred text. But if you chose to add a watermark, the image you selected will be on both sides of the page. To remove the extra image, double-click and select it, and then hit delete or backspace on your keyboard. Let's add some custom text. To do that, select the placeholder text and hit delete. Then type or paste in the content you want to replace it with. Now let's reposition the foreground elements to align it the way we want. To further customize the template, exit the header and footer view, and head up to the design tab. Here you can select different fonts, themes, and styles. And you can also change the colors by selecting from a list of presets, or by creating a custom theme. We'll choose the marquee theme. When you're happy with the design, and you've finished adding your custom text, it's time to print the brochure. To do that, head up and click File in the top left. Then go down and hit Print in the left menu. Now head across and click where it says Print One-Sided, and select Manually Print on both sides. If you select this option, you'll be prompted to reload the paper after the first page has been printed. Finally, hit Print at the top. Once you've printed the first page, make sure the ink is dry to avoid smudging. Then place the printed side down, and reload the paper in the printer. For a bonus tip, we'll actually advise using a different application to build your brochure. If you need a powerful yet intuitive media creator, Canva has everything you need. With Canva, you can search for whatever kind of brochure you want to make. Then simply choose from a much larger selection of high-quality brochure templates. These templates are highly customizable, and the background images are much easier to change and modify. Like in Word, 
You can select the text placeholders and replace them with whatever you like. And to modify the background images, just click them, and select Edit Photo at the top. There are plenty of different effects you can use, to get the image looking the way you want. And it's really simple to use. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it, and you'll be helping us grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to check the description for additional resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.